Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I am finally doing the video so many of you actually wanted me to do, and that is how to get WRX seats into your SJ Forester. So we'll go ahead and get into it right now. All right, so first things first is you wanna select whatever WRX seats you want to put into your Forester. Um, you have to have seats from a 2015 and up WRX or STI. As you can see here, um, these are the base WRX seats. The factory seats in the Forester did come with um, heated seats. Now these base seats out of the WRX that I found were also heated, so that kind of worked out. And it's literally plug and play for the airbags and for the uh, heated seats. One other thing I had to do was swap over the seat belts from the Forester seats to the WRX seats. And it's pretty simple. I, I think it was like a 17 millimeter bolt or something like that. And you just swap them over and then you can plug it all in to the factory harness. But underneath here, there's a couple of wires that uh, come from the chassis harness into the seat. Uh, it's the airbag and the heat and the seat belt. So there's three plugs that you'll need to um, pretty much swap in their plug and play. So you shouldn't have an issue with that. Now. There are other combinations that you can do. You can get the Recaros, you can get the Launch Edition Recaros, uh, or you can get the base seats. It doesn't matter. As long as it's from a 15 and up WRX, it'll work fine. So when I initially bought the seats off of a guy from Facebook Marketplace, he gave me the seat rails as well. Now, the seat rails from a 15 and up WRX will directly bolt in the passenger side fits just fine. It's the driver's side. So when I first did this, the driver's side sat so low because of the uh, seat rails. Uh, were designed, of course, for a WRX and not a SJ. So the seat rails, the surface was actually like almost on the floor here. So when I was sitting in the vehicle, um, like my point of view was like, over here so I, it was very low and if you're okay with like low riding that's fine but if you want it to have the same like factory height as the as these seats you need to do one thing so in order for me to have mounted these in properly as you can see this is a non-power seat right now if you come over here and take a look at the Forrester power seats so this base is power and the seat itself is powered. So that wouldn't work with my new setup. So that's why I had to get a 2.5i non-power seat rail. And, and now if you did buy powered WRX seats, I'm gonna go on the, on the assumption that if you're able to swap over the seat rails to the d powered WRX seats, then you should be fine. But since mine aren't powered, that's how I did mine. All right guys, so once again, I know that this is a super simple video and super short video, but there's not much to it. You know, as long as you have the right parts, you'll be able to do this yourself. And I did this for about 320 bucks plus gas because I had to drive to New Jersey to get the seats, but you can do, you can go as crazy as you want, or you can do it exactly how I did it and have the benefits of having WRX seats in a Forester for like 320 bucks. So anyway, hope this helped. I'll catch you guys in the next video.